go for another fantastic professional MMA bout here between Davin Byfield in the camouflage trunks and Corey Hansen in the black and white shorts. Davin Byfield, Dave, someone we've seen compete quite a few times. A great grappling pedigree. It'd be interesting to see how he matches up with someone as aggressive as Hansen. Yeah, Byfield, as you say, Ben, got great experience on the domestic circuit, and I like this matchmaking a lot. It's going to really show us what Corey Hansen is made of. Hansen coming in, catches his man with a nice shot and looks to tie up if he can, but Byfield doing well and gets the fight over. What a beautiful takedown. Straight into side control is Davin Byfield. Corey Hansen does excellently well, Ben, to secure and looking to work, guard. Looking to work. The arm on the right hand side looks like he's trying to pass it through, maybe to get a triangle if he can. Trying to control the posture is Hansen. Byfield looking at, and under these professional rules, shots can't come in from these positions. Byfield showing that experience, not panicking with that foot there, and looking to posture himself up and free that arm, see if he can land some strikes. There's a sweep coming through, maybe, but he's not, not able to fully negotiate it, and Byfield showing some really good base, and there's that experience, Dave. That's it, Ben. Byfield looks very calm in there. He makes his way back up to his feet, Corey Hansen. Ben, you've got to say already, this is excellently matched up. Both guys working very well on the floor. And this is the kind of matchmaking that we've come to expect from Cage Control. I mean, the fights at this promotion getting better and better, and this is just another example. And what you've got here is the Devin Byfield, like you say, a really seasoned veteran on the domestic circuit. And a takedown by Hansen moves very quickly to get the mount position. Unfortunate for Byfield, the clinch and the throws look like it might be a sweet spot for him in this fight, but he's ended up mounted by Hansen. Byfield's going to be looking at trying to get some kind of separation here, but he's got to be careful of his opponent's posture of what's going to be happening with those shots, those punches and kicks and elbows as he eats one trying to come through. He's got to be careful of not giving his back up here, turning into his man, and now he's on the bottom once again. He looks like almost in the half guard position. It's hard for us to see from this, this viewpoint. Yeah, he has secured half guard position, Ben. He scooted to his left and snuck that leg round there. Excellent work from Byfield to get out of the mounted position. Of course, this fight under the full pro rules, it's not somewhere you want to hang out. There's a nice elbow coming through from Anthony's looking at And we've seen so many times of fighters, you only need an. It's, millimeters of space to be enough to generate enough force on that elbow from that position that palm to elbow strike we've seen so many fighters jeremy horn especially really utilize that one that's it and so so easy to open up a cut with those short elbows and corey hansen on top now perhaps considering a guillotine there ben he gives it up to throw some more punches He's looking at it, but I mean, realistically, Dave, if he does commit to it, it's a gamble in terms of position. It's up to him as how how much he feels if it's on, but his legs aren't really in the, the right kind of position, and Byfield explodes upwards, uses that underhook to over, excuse me, to get out. A fantastic work from Byfield, and as you say, Dave, what a great match fight this is. Double unders for Davin Byfield. It's to make good use of them and use those hips again for another throw. Byfield looking to fire some knees in, maybe some punches if he can get them. He changes his grip up slightly, but still maintains the unders. Referee Neil Hall separating the two fighters. Nice jab from Byfield. Hansen coming in, trying to get the takedown. Once again, it's a real struggle for position. And there's Hansen with a nice kind of judo toss from that position. He's got to be careful of his man rolling through, but he sat through with it. And now he's in side control position. Hansen working very calmly from this position, landing a few shots. Neil Hall, the referee, calling for action. It's unusual to see a fighter stood up from, from a, a dominant position like this, but in the referee's kind of point of view, if physically nothing is happening, I have seen fighters stood up from this position before. And it's if Hansen's doing enough to kind of negate the offense in a lot of respects. Byfield looking to get out the back door, Ben. He's looking to pull his pull his head through if he can. It's almost the old, the old bulldog choke that we've seen a few times. Pat Militich versus Carlos Newton, probably most famously. 
I think a good stand-up for me there, Dave. I don't think either fighter was going to advance the position at that point. Hansen winging a big shot. Byfield comes underneath and grabs hold of a single. But Hansen sprawls well and now has control of the neck as we've got 10 seconds left in this breathless first round. Hansen looks for the back. Maybe fishes for an armbar as well. Byfield in a tough spot here. And the round finishes just as he goes to take the back. An all-action first round, Dave. Some fantastic highlights from both men. Byfield landing a really nice takedown. But Hansen showing a good mount, landing some good shots. It'll be fascinating to see how the fighters come out in the next round. And realistically, they, a very tough fight to score from the judges. Both fighters had the merits at that point. Certainly, both fighters had some excellent work in the first period. For me, I'm personally going to move towards Corey Hansen on that front. He looked a bit more active when it came to fishing for submissions, and, and he came out on top on some of the positional situations. Obviously, he had the mount as well at one point, but a very close round. And like you say, Ben, there could be arguments for either fighter in that first period. But this fight looks like it's living up to how it was matched on paper, and that's very even. From Hansen's point of view, Dave, it's going to be about maintaining this work rate. It's going to be about his conditioning and pushing the fight forward because when he pushes the fight forward, when he's got the pace, it's to his advantage. It's how far, it's how much, excuse me, he can keep that work rate up. We see fighters at the highest level who thrive on pushing the pace of their opponent, burning their opponents out. Nick Diaz, world famous, pushing their, his opponent into that deep water. And that's something that Hansen's going to be looking to do in the second round. Whether he's got the conditioning for it remains to be the X Factor. And a nice knee from Byfield there. It looks to have a bit of a spring in his step in the second round. Definitely, Ben. He landed a nice low kick at the start there. I'd like to see him use that weapon more. Oh, and there's a huge Hansen jumping in for a flying knee. And straight into the mound position, these are bad times at the start of the round. Terrible Byfield not position for Byfield, Ben. Byfield not really offering a lot of defence in this position, but Hansen not really landing anything kind of clean. A few shots coming through. Neil Hall taking a close look and it's all over. Corey Hansen made the most of that situation. Jumped in, took his man down, and the second the opportunity presented itself, he pounded his man out. A phenomenal victory for Corey Hansen, and what a great fight that was. Great fight and a great performance from Hansen. Byfield was just pressed up against that cage, Benny had nowhere to go, just didn't react quickly enough. Neil Hall gave him a warning, had a close look at it and called a halt to proceedings. Excellent win for Corey Hansen. And from Hansen's point of view, Dave, it's the fact that he had one chance to take that fight. That was his opportunity to finish that fight and he finished that fight. And that is so often the difference we see fighters at all kind of levels. When you've got that opportunity, you have to take it. The door opened for Corey Hansen and he sprinted through it. It's co-main event of the evening time as Rich Cosgrove takes on Reese Parker.